learning the law in a hands-on setting. Eighth grader Joshua Harris once sat in the defendant's seat. I ain't got a ticket. I'm just no class, so I'm trying to get off my record. In teen court, they get to sit in a real courtroom and hear real cases of offenders who are roughly their same age. These are definitely real cases. They, they go from disruption of class, fighting, disorderly conduct. It could even be a small possession charge. The city of Bryan's teen court formed in 2008 as an alternative to formal juvenile court proceedings. It's a way of keeping their charge off their record, so as long as that defendant completes the program, then that charge basically gets dismissed. With the defendant on the stand, the teens act as the master jury. It really allows the kids to get very, very involved in the, the questions that they feel are important to determining a sentence. A sentence the teens decide and discuss with the judge. It's, it is one thing to have an adult look at you and say, you know, don't do that, you can't do that, but it's another thing for someone your own age, especially when you're a teenager, for them to say, hey, that behavior is not acceptable. Harris has been on both sides of the table and says he's learned his lesson. Because I hate when kids get in trouble, I've done something good for their life. So I hope they, like, they learn from me. And hopes the young crime offenders can make positive changes. Monica Castro, KAGS HD News.